for the last few months we've been starting every day with chapter 121 of the Hillen. Praying for the safety, for the well-being of our brethren all over the world, in Ukraine and in Russia and in Eretz Israel, all over the world. There's so many calamities. Today, instead of reciting together chapter 121, I'd like to recite chapter 137. In fact, according to the way the previous Rebbe has established to say every day chitas, chumash, tilim, and tanya, every day learning the portion of the Torah, section of the day, and saying Tehillim, Psalms, as it is subdivided in a monthly cycle, excuse me, a monthly cycle, and also the Tanya, part of Tanya, divided on the annual cycle. On the 28th day of every month, chapter 137 is one of the few chapters that has been recited. So today being the 28th, I want to recite chapter 137, and you'll obviously realize why. Chapter 13, Excuse me, 137 starts. Al Nahar is Bovel Shom Yushab and Gambochine Bezochine is Tzioin. I'll translate. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat. We also wept when we remembered Zion. Al Arovim Besecho Tolinuki Norisenu. On willows in its midst we hung our harps. Kishom She Ilunu Shoivenu Divreshir, Vesoilolenu Simcho Shir Alonu Mishir Tzioin. For there our captors asked us for words of song. And our tormentors asked of us, Sing for us of the song of Zion. Eich no shira shira Hashem al admas necho. How can we sing the song of the Lord on foreign so- soil? Im eshkocheich Yerushalayim tishkachimini. If I forget, O Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to my palate if I do not remember you. If I do not bring up Jerusalem at the beginning of my joy. Remember, O Lord, for the sons of Adam. The day of Jerusalem, those who say, raise it, raise it down to its foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who is destined to be plundered, praiseworth is he who repays you your recompense that you have done to us. The Talmud in Tractate Gittin, page 57, says the following. And it's quoted in many other places. Omar Rav Yudah Marav says Rav Yudah in the name of Rav. My dear Siv, what is the meaning of the verse? Al Naras Bovel, or I should not just the verse, but the entire psalm. Al Naras Bovel Shom Yushav Gambo Chinu. What is the meaning of this psalm? And he responds, Shehero Akodish Boruch Le David that God is shown to King David, Churban by Israishim, the destruction of the first temple. The Churban Baishin and the destruction of the second temple. First temple, Shanem Abakus says, Al Naris Bovel, Sham Yishabnu. The exile, Babylonian exile. Baishini. Zhoi Rashem Livne Edoim. Please remember the time when we were surrounded by Edoim. Es Yoim Rishulai in the day of Jerusalem, the day say it should be. Raised, Israel should be raised, R-A-Z-E-D, not R-A-I-S-E-D, is what our enemy said. So today, when we celebrate Yom Yerushalayim, when we celebrate the miraculous moment where soldiers of the Israeli Defense Forces, against the wishes of the politicians, and against many in the army staff, they went and they broke through, and they reached the Koisel, and they exclaimed, Harabais Beyodenu. And indeed, it was the most miraculous event that after so many years we'll finally be able to go back to the Koisel. Together with the celebration, together with the euphoria would happen then, rightfully so, we still say, Bochinu, we're still crying. Today, is it in our hands? 
when we see that we depend on the decision of Jordanian government or some other Arab leaders that will tell us if we're allowed to go there or not and we consider them is this meaning that it's in our hands far from it so today together with the celebration of what we do have we pray to Hashem and we pray we cry Bochinu, we cry please Rebbeinu Shalom Make this day Yerim Yerushalayim to be the day of Geula, the final complete redemption. And then indeed, we will be able to say, Harabais, the mountaintop, is not just in our hands. We are present, we are in it, we have the Beis Amikdosh, And we have Moshiach revealed with us. Please Hashem, today, 